Yes. Okay. okay. No need cutting this. Hooray! It's seventh annual global convention of Etern Girls Grammar School, Benin City, at Doe State. Old Girls Association. Are you an old student of Etern Girls? We invite you to join the train as we celebrate our seventh annual global convention. Theme: Conference of Greater Heights. Date: Friday, 25th to Sunday, 27th November, 2022. Venue, Eton Girls Grammar School, Sapler Road, Benin City, at Door State, 27th November, Thanksgiving Service, Arts Church of God Mission International, Benin Zone 6 Headquarters, 10 to 12 Ozakwala Street, off Benin Technical College Road, Ubawo, Benin City. Come one, come all. This is what they are here, thank you. This is what they are. We wouldn't want to waste your time on four years. Your mom. Your mom. Yeah. Wow. Uh, oh my. Which year? Which year? Was that a living name? Sure. That was a living name. I don't think any of you here will be coming. Hey, we have some. Secretary, the trustees of the Old Guest Association, the executive, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the old guys of Itohan Girls Grammar School, I wish to thank you very much for taking our time from your busy schedule to welcome and grant us audience. We have come here today to formally inform you of our convention, which we have just started today. This association was formed in November 2016, and uh, so far in our tenure since its inception, we have we hold annual global convention every year. In our tenure, we have given full scholarship to 16 indigen students, both in junior and senior secondary school. We have also paid for 10 students for WAEC and uh, NECO, who are not originally on the scholarship scheme. But they are indigent, they could not pay, so we pay for 10 of them. We have also donated trophies during inter-hasport. We have presented two trophies. We have also given out refreshment during one of the inter-hasport. And a few years ago, the UK chapter presented uh, materials, equipment for the Home Economics Laboratory. We like to pause and appeal to the commissioner with all of our hearts that that laboratory should be put in use. She should please send home economics teachers to this school so that those materials will not be wasted. In 2016-17, when we came on board, we found out that the toilets, there were no toilets in this school. We paid an advocacy visit to the executive governor who, in his usual self, immediately mandated and 14 toilets were built in this school. So we'd like you to also say thank you to Mr. Governor. Then in 2021, we decided to look at this library. And uh, we had uh, four tables and uh, 32 chairs. And this year, to 
cap up our convention, we decided to make two additional tables and uh, 16 chairs. So we have right here six tables and uh, 48 chairs. And the table and the chair for the librarian. We have also tried to link up the, the when the toilets were built, the pipe was not connected to the toilet. So children were, we came for a meeting, we saw children using buckets to fetch water. So we have done the plumbing work for both junior, secondary, and the senior school. So this year also we have decided to go beyond the, teacher, uh, the students and honor four teachers. And just last night we added another one, making five teachers will be honored tomorrow during our dinner. Then also we contributed to the computer center just opposite us, before it was opened. They had computers, but there was no place, a fortified place to keep them. So we had to make iron doors, do protectors on the windows, then on the roof, so that you know people will not come there to vandalize it. We can go on and on, honorable commissioner, for what we as old girls of Ituhan Girls Grammar School have, uh, have done. So we've done these things just to promote girl-child education. So madam, this visit, you have decided to come to us now. It's also going to be cap up with a dinner tomorrow. We would like you to be also present in the dinner. Why you will also promise us today that we're going to have home economics teachers and other subjects that are not well you know, taken care of. Please, we need teachers. I would like to stop because we are standing. I can give you a long list. The signpost you will see here when you are coming was made by Itoha Old Guys Association. The, the list is endless because we are a working team. We love our school and we are giving back in full support to our school. Thank you so much for listening and God bless you so much. Yeah, before I forget, before I give you this, uh, it's not a microphone. If you will tell me later what it is called. The chemistry lab, we also made uh, stools, 30 new stools, and we renovated. When I entered there, I saw that it was the same table I used in 1977 that was still there. So immediately, we had to put our heads together. We renovated. This library was also painted. There was a big crack on this wall. You can see it. It was repaired and we have to do a painting. So welcome. I told you that the list is endless. You know, we can just keep talking. Let us not keep you standing. Thank you very much, Honorable Commissioner. God bless you. Good afternoon to everyone. In fact, I'm very, very glad to be in your midst this afternoon, representing the Honorable Commissioner, Dr. John Salviawe, who so much have passion in education. I'm happy you are a female. She's a woman, a woman that really cares for her children. Unfortunately, if she has everything to herself, all these things you have mentioned, she will do them more and more and more. When you give birth to a child, and you train that child very well, when the child grows up, she will also take care of her parents, isn't it? Yes. So, ladies, I want to say, for all you have been doing for it to hang guests from my school, the Honorable Commissioner, she is very, very grateful. She's very, very happy. She's grateful because she knows that doing all this herself, all alone, she will not have the opportunity to do it. Though she has the opportunity, she will not have the means to do all of them. Your own collaboration will give her so much joy, or has given her so much joy already, though you are still doing more. 
She wished to see that every school will be having a, lab uh, a library like this. Every school will, have a, will be having a, a, computer, a computer center, home economics uh, laboratory. In fact, to be a standard school, but all of you here, you did me fit to see that you left this school so many years ago, and you are so proud because you are somebody today. You want this younger generation to become somebody tomorrow. And may God bless every one of you. Amen. As you continue to bring up from your pocket, may God not, never let your pocket go dry in Amen. Jesus' name. In fact, my prayers, I'm praying it. The commissioner is also praying for every one of you. God Almighty is blessing every one of you. Amen. Don't ever relent. Because whatever we are giving out, we are not actually doing it for ourselves. We are doing it for God. When you want to say, God, thank you for all he has done for us, all you need to do is to give out to someone else. Not somebody that will come and tell you thank you. These children, they may not know any of you. Those you are paying school fees for, those you are giving scholarship to, they may not know any of you to come and say, oh, you gave me this, you gave me that. She may be, they may be hearing your names, but God Almighty will reward every one of you in Jesus' name. I don't want to talk much, but I just want every one of you to know that we, the Ministry of Education, the ecosystem, the commissioner particularly, she's very, very happy and proud of every one of you. She's very grateful. <laughs> I go through schools. I've been to this school before. I've been to several schools in Benin City. I don't want to talk much about myself. I've been in the system. I've been in education. I've been to several schools. In 2018, Mr. Governor, Governor Baseki, was building schools, was renovating schools. He touched the 18 local governments. Primary schools, in particular, we were seeing red roof built by the other government. But when he came, most of the jobs that were done, they were all nonsense. It's not an exaggeration; it was true. When I was an education secretary in the local government where I served the last before I got this appointment, when a contractor is giving a building, ordinary fence, for instance, just to fence a school. If that fence is not built the way it ought to be, if there is a crack anywhere, if it is not measured the, the, the same amount of measurement given to that contractor, he will start all over. He will not be paid. That was the measure of um, Dr. Joanne uses, or that is the measure she uses. If she's doing anything, she goes for the very best. Whether it's building or like her children, she's handling all over the state. So my dear sisters, I only, like I said before, I'm very grateful. The Honorable Commissioner, she is very, very grateful to every one of you. I can see here, I'm not blind. Everything here is renovated. The roof, maybe the ties too. Yeah, you can see. I can see the fan. I can see the wall. Look at it over there. That's the old building. That is why you have that place patched like that. So I'm not blind. So, ladies, I want to say thank you. Thank you. And I think we have to round up because I have another assignment. So if I have to cut the tape, yeah. the president, Jesus is very good. God may, bless may you. I acknowledge some persons present oh, yes, for Lord. that? Yes, yes. Because I know once we cut the tape, we'll be taken off. Thank you, Honorable Commissioner. In her entourage with her is uh, the Education Officer Ekobaoka, Mrs. Josephine Obaze, and uh, in our midst also we have somebody we may not have met who 
who is a great supporter of Jitwan Girls Grammar School, and that is Mr. Michael Oluiki, the chair of the school management board of the seniors SM, yes, SMB. And uh, he is also in, uh, he's been in PTA SBMC in the past. When I was here, he was a great supporter of my work. to her guest grammar school, both junior and senior. It's well noted. Getting back to the commissioner, I will take all your messages back to her. Okay. In respect of the um, home economics teacher, I don't have the right to say I'll post a, uh, economic, a home economics teacher here. I will take the message back to her. Okay. They will hear from her. Thank you. Okay. Um, chairman, please hold. Principal, yeah. Please hold. Commissioning this project this day, 25th of November, 2022. I commissioned in the name of the Father, Amen. and of the Son, Amen. and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you all in Jesus' name. Thank you. Thank you. Want to sit on it and read a book? Yes. Wow. yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Everybody sit. Yes. Let's sit and read yes. a book. <laughs> Ladies, 
Hold on, hold on. Just one more. All right. Okay. Now, uh, sorry. Hold on, please. All right. Great. All right. We need some students. Thank you. Hello. I am Grace Osakwe the National Public Relations Officer of the Itohan Girls Grammar School Old Girls Association. We are having our seventh global convention and uh, we have just cut the tape on the library that was uh, refurbished by the Old Girls Association for the use of the junior and senior secondary school girls of Itohan Girls Grammar School is one of the two projects. The second project is a refurbishment of the furniture in the laboratory, the chemistry laboratory. This is our way of giving back to Itohan girls for giving us the foundation that has made us responsible women in the Nigerian society. Thank you. This annual global convention of Etern Girls Grammar School, Benin City, Edo State. Old Girls Association. Are you an old student of Etern Girls? We invite you to join the train as we celebrate our seventh annual global convention. Theme Conference of Greater Heights. Date Friday, 25th to Sunday, 27th November 2022. Venue Eton Girls Grammar School, Sapla Road, Benin City, Edo State, 27th November, Thanksgiving Service, Arts Church of God Mission International, Benin Zone 6 Headquarters, 10 to 12 Ozapala Street, off Benin Technical College Road, Ubawo, Benin City. Come one, come all.